Hi guys, Rachel Bab here, and I've just finished streaming on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Rachel Bab. And um, yeah, it's it was really a nice stream. Not much occurred game wise. Um, finding things a bit slow, trying to do the medical career, I'm not doing very well. But never mind. If you're gonna fail, you might as well fail while everyone's watching. Today is. Pop the weasel. Pop goes the weasel day, not pop the weasel. That's just mean. So I was just checking out why it was pop goes the weasel day and it's actually because, um, well I don't know why but it's to do with the nursery rhyme. I thought the nursery rhyme went half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle, mix it up and make it nice. Pop goes the weasel. But it actually says different it's something like that's the way the money goes or something pop goes the weasel so i thought maybe there's because it's then it said there's different variations and it showed some none of them were the one that i knew so let me know what you think the words are in the comments to the nursery around pop goes the weasel and if you've never heard it before also let me know um today i've had fish and chips i visited family like i always do <laughs> and had a walk and it's all been good. My foot is hurting because of yesterday. The the walk yesterday, I didn't speak to you afterwards, but I did the walk and it was a really short walk, only an hour, an hour and a bit. But I think because the terrain was so up and down, I was absolutely shattered when I got back. I went to sleep like five for like two or three hours, got up, had a bit of tea. No, I didn't have any tea. And then had some had a drink of like hot chocolate I think I had and then went to sleep. Um and yeah that was that was it. I was just out and so achy. I felt like I'd done miles and miles. It was pathetic. We hardly did anything. It just absolutely hit me really hard. I don't know why. So and now my foot's like done in. So I've been limping everywhere today. Um and yeah, it's a bit naff. So, but I still did a walk today because even though I was a bit limpy, once I got going on it, it was fine. Um, and yeah, I just I've got a bit of a gurg because he's throat right now. It keeps like going, oh, 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 don't know why. Whew, so I'm just working on those videos, but I'm not, I'm trying not to do too much with being Sunday. So you need to have a bit of rest. Um, but I've got loads of videos coming up and especially giveaways and things um like i said before i try and accept as much as i can when it comes to things that i can give away to you guys as well that i can try myself to see if they're good and then give away to you guys because that you know it's you guys why i make the videos so and i really enjoy trying the different methods of editing and filming so they give me a chance to do that as well but some I have had a bit of problems with some companies, well one company being like, you always find this, and I went to talk about this the other day actually, but you always find that the ones that put you down are just really not worth working with, and that sounds really obvious when you say it out loud, but there's some, and it's the same with the animation as well, like, because I, I animate as well, and I find like through that I've been doing it for like years and years and years, and you, you gain a lot of experience with people like that and I found that it's exactly the same with the YouTube um, like collaborations with businesses they think that if they put you down like oh you, you don't really have this or you don't have many subscribers or in animations like you don't really have the skills or and you kind of think and when you first start out you think oh maybe I don't I'm not very good and they make you feel like you're really, really worth this so that you'll do something for them that you either wouldn't have done or for a lesser price than you should or whatever, whatever it is, whatever genre it is in. And then you always, they always end up being a pain, more of a pain than the people that would, like with animation, more of a pain than the people that would actually pay you to do a good job, which is what you would do. But the ones that want things like done cheaply or things done that you wouldn't want to do anyway 
or like whatever <laughs> I'm talking over two different things so it doesn't really make sense but it is the same they're the ones that always end up being pain and don't let people put you down like I had one company contacting me on about a YouTube thing I won't mention their name but if they keep bugging me I will mention their name <sighs> they were just like you did a video for so and so you should do a video for us we're much better and it's like okay why are you better and like what are you going to give my viewers um and things you know like because quite a lot of them give codes to give to you guys or some kind of discount or something that's like that helps and also i'm not going to do it for free because i just now i get so many businesses writing to me promote this promote this promote this and it's like no, I'm not going to spend all my time every day thinking of ways to promote your business for you for free as free advertising. It's like YouTube puts the sponsorship system in place to stop that. So there's a site called Social Blue Book or something. I found about it recently. It tells you basically what you're worth and it's really, really good. And so I know exactly now what I'm worth. Kind of. <laughs> and like with the animation you kind of get that over the years, like with what experience you have and everything like that. I hope this is valuable to some of you because I know a lot of you do YouTube and things and it's also like just informational. Anyway, so I know that the price that I'm asking is good and I, and I say to them like, right, okay, well you have to pay this. And like, well, you only have this. You only have this many subscribers. You only get this. And it's like, yes, I know. That's, you know, if you don't want it, that's fine. But this is how much it is because if I did it for free, I would literally never, ever be able to do any requests from you guys. I mean, I, you know, I, I still want to do those. And I still don't want to spend every day promoting a business. Whereas if you put the sponsorship there, that kind of weeds out the naff ones. It means you get people that are prepared to put out a good thing. They either, I don't mind if they give me something to give away, that's cool. But when they're just a business, like promoting, like, it's like, like, it, I just, these people, they were so mean. They were just like, you only have this many subscribers. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's a lot of people that, and, it's funny because the other business that you said were, that I did a video for that you said were oh, were better than them. They had no qualms in paying to do a video and giving a code to you guys and just being generally lovely because they had a really good product. It's the ones that have enough product that weren't. And there's still people, like if it's something, I'm not saying I get paid for every single video because I do absolutely do not. And it's a mass, it's a very small percentage that I do. And I find most of the ones, um, on, I'll always put in the description if it's sponsored. But the ones, like, like for example, the nail files, they're not paid or anything. They're just, you know, will you review this if we send you an extra one to give away? Yeah, sure, because I like nail files. I use them every day. These look interesting. And I'll get to give some to you guys. Sure, I'll send them over. I've also got some other things coming up that are a bit like that as well. The haul videos I do, they're not, they're not paid. You know, they're just. Do you want to choose some products, um, to do haul? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll say where they're from. I'll say if they're good. I'll say if they're bad. You know, like even if you're gonna give them an A, like but I suppose this is what gets me right. The ones that are like, yeah, sure, that's fine, no problem, just give us a shout out. Okay, I will, but I'm still going to say if it's bad. And they're like, usually they're like, yeah, that's brilliant, thanks, we'll fix that. Like if it's an app, I'm sorry, I've got really yawns and gaggles and all sorts going on. But if it's an app, they'll be like, I'm rambling, sorry. And they'll be like, oh, this, we, we're really glad you found that bug. I've had people say that, I'm really glad you found that bug. I'm really glad the people in the comments realised this, we've now changed it. If you could just put a note on the screen letting people know, yeah, that's fine. 
you know but then you have people like these people are contacting me and you know they're going to be like do this do that and they wanted me to get like so many thousand people to click a link or something and I was like I'm not going to get people to click a link that I don't even know what it's going to do like it might take their details or something like that's just morally wrong why would I do that uh, I don't know but I got not... cut off sorry about that I rambled too much Sorry for chatting, I was just saying that I won't be working with that company because, you know, that's ridiculous and I don't, as much as a lot of my videos might seem random, I am very selective with what I choose and who I choose to work with and I'm thoroughly enjoying testing things out on my channel at the moment um, and I'm also really liking your guys response to it and just letting you know what's going on and stuff um so yeah i hope me telling you all this helps you understand things a little bit better um and yeah i think being honest and stuff with you guys is obviously the most important thing um because i think a lot of people make judgments as well and Sometimes those judgments can be a lot worse than the actual truth a, a lot of time and sometimes people pass those on as fact as well and I hate that when people do that and it's like